Hey, it's Bearwood here with a selection of some of the tools and things I use to uh, repair these. We call them sash windows, maybe? Um, so what the problem is, the caulking, the window caulking, well, that might not be the right word for it, but this stuff here is coming loose. So I just take my Stanley blade. You can see when you have cracks, you got problems. Now, I can use, um, I'll use a hammer and a chisel to get that stuff out there because it's hard to, if you get a chance to make a straight run, it's easier than trying to fill in that little piece. It's easier than to try and fill that little piece, but you do the whole thing. And because if you see, inside, the, the caulking in there is up to that you see that there's a raise in there, so you want those to be the same, same height. So anyway, I just take the, the first thing I usually do is just go around and get all the loose stuff off that I can. Identify these, these joints seem to be a bit of a problem down here. There's some more, so I just take my Stanley knife and get that out of there. Whatever you use, whatever you want to use. Now this is a bit rotten, so I'm going to be treating it. See, there's some more of it to come off over here. That's the last one at the moment. We've got some rot down there. And I'll take and use the the wood hardener in there. I'm using the Tetrian first only because I can't get any Ron Seal. Ron Seal drives quicker, so I can use it. it takes a couple hours, then you can put the filler in, which will be this Cuprinol. Mix up a batch of that. And then the window glazing, the glazing putty is going to be this Unibond. It's in beige. And it works pretty good. And you need a. I'm going to use this this little filling knife that came in this set. I thought they were quite nice, but then the handle broke. The beauty, the nice part of it broke. So I got another pack of Rollroy four-piece putty knife set, but it doesn't have one that's quite as small as those other ones, twice the size. So you need something like that. I normally use. Uh, my, like, I think it's called a small plaster tool, but that's getting a little bit rounded up here now, so I think you need a squarish, nice square on there. So, here's a big crack coming up through there, so that'll clean all that out, and then I'll shoot some polyphylla. This is indoor and outdoor polyphylla in there. I use it, this is what I use most of the time. I could buy cheaper versions, but I can't see the point in it. Then also, after I cleaned everything off yesterday, I sprayed it with a Zinzer mold killer and remover because I could see green in there. I was hoping I'd see better results this morning of the stuff disappearing, but it still seems to be there. It's not like flaked off, but I know I've, I've done my best at treating it. So... And then one last little thing here. This is a great product here. You've probably seen it before my stuff. Crust. The, the hinges are a little bit rusty, so I'll treat that with a little bit of crust. Works really good. What else? So I'm using the Ryobi sander, and I can use different pads. You can put a, a one of those pads, you know, triangle things, or you can cut the Merca to fit in there. And I like the Mercas. Now I use this other Merca over here. One of the good things about this Merca here, you can get right up next to the glass. Where is it? And you're not going to scratch it very much. You can be careful. Whereas down here, I got this tool here that uses regular sandpaper. But when you take that right up to the edge, there's sandpaper on that edge. And that's going to scratch the glass. This works good if you're away from the glass and you want to try and save some money with the cheaper sandpaper. Then the other tool I use a lot is this, because anywhere you see flaking paint, it's got to come off. So it's hard to do with my left hand, but this is a good tool. You can get in there, get in there all over the place for that. So, and the vacuum's real handy. And then I'll be using the Dulux undercoat and Dulux top coat weather shield stuff. So I think that's it for now. Um, any questions, comments, suggestions? Thanks for calling, talking, watching.
on this nice August 25th, 2016 day.